Today, I continue my holy mission to paint a troop from every codex for the Emperor! Hey guys, I'm Sister Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. This week, because we are continuing to paint our troops, I decided to paint a Sister of Battle. And you might notice the costume. Well, I have a Spirit Halloween store near me, so expect to see a bit more costumes in the painting videos because I've really been having fun doing these skits and I have access to ways to do inexpensive versions of costumes and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And the Sisters of Battles in particular are a really big like thing that I wanted to paint for a long time. I When they got their new release for all the plastic miniatures, I was super, super stoked, bought a whole bunch of it. But honestly, they were a little intimidating. They have so much detail on them. They're gorgeous miniatures. Um, I absolutely love them, but I was a little scared to paint them at first when I first got them. So because I have gotten a lot more skill now, having done this channel and everything, I thought it was time for us to paint a Sister of Battle. This particular sister came with a kind of unique base piece that she stands on, and I wanted to go ahead and get that done first because I actually will attach her later on because it'll make it easier to paint her. And I start this painting this base by using Mechanicus Gray and basically using that on the portion of the base that looks like it might be the dirt. The reason I decided to go gray instead of a brown is because I actually am going to use Astro Granite on the rest of the base that is not having the miniature portion on it and sort of blend it in which you can see that I'm doing here. So we've got our Astro Granite. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handy dandy GW texture tool and basically get sort of a big blob, split it 50-50 on both sides, and then spread that paint around to make sure that I get an even coating and also to sort of blend it into the texture that we've already got on that fancy little base piece that the miniature came with. After about a half an hour to an hour, the base was dry enough that I felt I could work with it again, and so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next stage, which is dry brushing. And we're gonna go ahead and do that with Dawnstone, because it's a very, very nice, subtle, slightly lighter tone of the Mechanicus Gray that we had used previously. And I'm just gonna take this and kind of spread it over the entire base, not really caring what I get this paint on. We can do a cleanup stage later, but I wanted to make sure we layered this up and brought out some of those really cool textures that the base itself and our texture paint have gotten us. Next, we're gonna use Longbeard's Gray over top the entire miniature as well, but going a little bit lighter this time because we only want to catch the most raised edges of our base. Now you could of course do this with any tone. I would recommend a light gray or a white even. I just happen to have this color and I think it turned out pretty cool. And because I got a bunch of paint in a bunch of places I didn't want it, I'm going to use a bit of grace here and do a little bit of cleanup before we move on to our next stages. Ah, there we go, our base is tidied up and ready for the next stage, which is going to be a bit of Basilican Grey on the bricks that our sister will be standing on. I decided to use a bit of Nasdreg Yellow on the bullet casings that are on the base just to make them really stand out and kind of pop against the gray that we've got going because it's a lot of neutral tones right now and I want to add a bit of color. And as you can see, I think it's working well. They stand out beautifully, but we have to put a little bit of Skeleton Horde on that skull before we move on finally to our flames. Because I knew I was going to be using red on the sister herself, I decided to do the flames in Hexwraith Flame because I thought the green would contrast well, and I really just like the way that this paint works. And 
And as you can see, we're getting a really cool effect on our base, but I want to enhance the flames a bit more. So we're going to use a bit of warp lightning in the recesses of the flame to sort of deepen that color and get a little bit more of a pop out of our flames. And while the warp lightning definitely has started to do what I wanted it to, I kind of wanted to get a little bit of a brighter highlight on the tips. So we're going to take a bit of moot green and just dry brush that onto the very edges of the flame so we can make it look a little more glowy. Angela, what, what is all this? Um, I, I might have a problem. I have too many minis to paint and not enough subscribers to encourage me to do it. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. And with that, our base is finished. And I, at this point, decided to attach the sister to the base. And honestly, that was a mistake, sort of. I definitely think attaching her was the correct choice down the line because it does make painting her upper body a lot easier. But I really, really should have painted her lower body before attaching her because now that I've got her feet attached to the bricks and the other portion of the base, getting her feet and the legs and also that um, cloth that hangs between her legs became really, really difficult and getting especially behind and in between became a pain. But I ultimately still accomplished it and we're going to be starting off by applying Black Templar basically to her entire armor. Um, we're gonna do this first because I'm going to do a cleanup stage, actually multiple cleanup stages between um, doing other colors, but I figured getting her armor done first would probably be the best as it is the darkest color. And as you can see, she's looking pretty good. The legs are done, but it would have been way simpler had I not attached her first. And with the Black Templar now all dry and completed, we can go ahead and do probably the biggest cleanup stage using a bit more grace here. She's looking tidied up, and I think it is time to now move on to our more fun colors for this particular paint scheme, and that is Flesh Terrors Red. I decided to go with Flesh Terrors because if you guys have watched any of my Space Marine painting videos, the Hobby Knights also use this color, and I just think it's a really nice deep rich red color, and I really, really like it, and I want to use it on her so that I can use the sisters in conjunction with the Hobby Knights later on, and they'll kind of blend, so it works out beautifully. And with that, it is now time to move on to the detail work for the miniature. And we're going to start with her bolter because it's very important for her. That's how she kills and slays the heretics in the name of the Emperor of Mankind. So we're going to pick up our Basilicum Grey and apply this to basically the entire bolter with the exception of the casing on top and the fleur-de-lis that is on it. Her bolter is coming along nicely, but it still needs to dry a little bit. So we're going to actually move on to a little bit of a different area of her before we wrap up the gun. And that is by using a little bit of snake bite leather on basically all the leather bits around her waist, the gun holster, her belt, all the little pouches she has on it. I figured this way, this color would brighten it up a little bit. It's almost a little bit of an orange hue, which I think works really well, because at first I was potentially thinking about using Gorgunter Flesh, which has a little bit more of a red hint to it. But ultimately, I thought that would blend too much with the Flesh Terror's red that I had already used. And so I just stuck with the basics and went with Snake Bite Leather because honestly, it is the just one of the best contrast colors out there. 
And because I'm a little bit of a traditionalist, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of Blood Angel's Rednecks and apply this to the rest of the bolter so that we can indicate it is from Mars and made for us properly by the Mechanicus. Now, you might be thinking, well, you've already used Flushed Arrows Red, why didn't you just use that red tone as your bolter color? And honestly, I actually like the slight contrast that you get between having the two different red tones on the miniature. I like the cloth to be the darker, more heavier color, basically, and the Blood Angels color, I actually think, stands out way brighter. And so when you do your my matte finish that I tend to put on my minis, you get this obvious difference between the two color tones, and it just stands out better in my opinion and helps me identify the guns a bit more. Now that her bolter is finished, we're actually going to go ahead and move on to all of the fun gold detail work using Iod and Yellow because it just works as a really nice matte gold color. And especially if you layer it up, you can get some really neat, either very yellow tones or very gold, almost orangey tones. And it really, really works for me. I very much recommend using Iod and Yellow as a gold tone if you're not wanting to do metallics. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of Gilliman flesh and apply this all over her face and two thin coats. And as you all know, the Emperor protects, and how he does that is by having me apply some Skeleton Horde to each of the Purity Seals strewn across our sister's armor. Now, I know traditionally the wax of the Purity Seals, especially on the Sisters, tends to be red, but I really wanted to both tie the flame color back into the miniature, as well as I just really like to use complementary colors in my paint schemes, so I chose Warp Lightning to basically do the seals with. There's one final main color we need to apply to our sister before we get to our washes stage, and that is Apothecary White for her hair. Now, at this point, you could probably call your sister a battle done if you had her at this stage. I actually think she looks great, but I want to enhance a little bit of some of the colors a bit more because they just aren't quite popping or doing as much as I want as some of the other colors on the sister. So we're going to apply two shades now. We're going to first start with Reichlin Flesh Shade, and that is going to only be applied to where we put Yacht in Yellow. Basically, it adds this very subtle reddish hue that I really like and further enhances the gold look of the color. After that, we're going to take some Nuln Oil and apply that to the red of the cloth as well as her bolter and then any portions on her that might have some gray bits. We are going to make sure to avoid her armor as much as possible. The black contrast paint is plenty dark enough, and so I really don't feel like it needs to have any other depth added to it. It's doing that plenty on its own. Now, we have one final thing to do, and that is to delicately dot her eyes using a bit of Abaddon Black. And here she is. And honestly, I think she came out great. I 
I was still a little nervous to paint her today. Uh, this mini came out wonderfully though, and I'm really, really happy with how it did, but I don't know if I want to spend quite as much time as I did painting her on every single troop in my sister's army. So I definitely am gonna stick with this overall color scheme, but I might make some few tweaks or here and there of what I'm doing to basically make batch painting them a little bit easier, but we're definitely going to see. I absolutely adore her. She is going to go out onto the battlefield in the name of the emperor and slay the heretics because she is a sister of battle and that is her duty for mankind. Make sure to like, subscribe and share the video and I'll see you guys next week for another news video and another painting video. Bye guys. For the emperor to paint a troop from every codex. For the emperor. 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 Today I continue my holy mission. For the emperor.